What's going on everybody? This is your boy Nugs and Glory, aka Nugs, and I'm back with some more Dying Light. I took a little break and played um, some Sleeping Dogs for a while and I uploaded some of that, so make sure you go check that out. Watch my boy Wei Shin get into some ass. You know, he's got those Jet Li, Jackie Chan, and Bruce Lee skills all mixed in one. But um, back to this Dying Light today, uh, I'm going to bring you guys some side missions. I'm gonna um, run around right quick, and I'm probably just like gonna try to gather up all the side missions, and then I'll um, start running them. I have a message for you. So let's check the board out right quick. So we got that. We're just gonna pick all these up right quick. But we have urgent business to discuss. I'm pretty sure I already have a couple of um like supplies and stuff that they say they needed. Oh, that was a Mr. note. Queen, I needed that note. I should like to have a word with you. I see I already I already had I already had something for this guy. Good. <laughs> Mr. Crane, I have a message for you. It's of the utmost importance. I just gave him the gauze. That's Excuse it. Excuse me, Mr. Crane, but we have urgent business to discuss. That's it. He's sitting there looking dumb. I gave you everything. Where my other reward at, bitch? All right. Now still has electricity. Let this go. How long? Let me let me let me talk to this guy, cause this guy has been Mr. Crane, Mr. Crane, motherfucker. What do you want? What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Haran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. Alright, so we got that worrisome guy out of the way. I have never. That dude was yelling my name the whole time. He sound like a girl. Mr. Crane. Mr. Crane. Give it to me. I need your help. Alright, let's see what this dude needs. You're Alfie? Alfie. That's me. Electricity. Building maintenance. I keep this place running somehow. Glad you're here. I was just about to call you. What's the problem? Well, it's good news, bad news. The good news is that you restore the lights in the Cauldron District. The bad news is that it blew out the grid near the overpass. It's blacker than your pants pocket over there. So, do you need it switched back on? There are two substations. Flick, flick, you switch them on. The order doesn't matter. Then you throw the master in the main station and it'll light up like a Christmas tree. I think I can do it. Of course you can do it. Any runner could do it. But there's a catch. Shutting off the lights has created a little black patch for the volatiles. Bunches of them are gathering there after sundown. So I've rigged a trap. It's already in place, all set to go. Now, if you can get in there and restore the power after it's dark, we can fry a whole lot of freaks in one shot. After dark? That's that's going to be a lot dicier. Sure. That's why no one's volunteered for this job. But I'm thinking maybe you're a bit tougher than the rest of these guys. Just an impression. Let's just say I'm here to help. Really? Good intentions, huh? Hope you've got some guts, or you won't last long. Alfie looked like he'd been smoking there loud. His eyes and shit was red as hell. And why the hell do I have to go do the shit in the dark? 
Why can't I do it in the daytime? I mean, damn. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's check on Khalik hey, right quick. So you notice on the bulletin board? Uh, you're a runner. Excellent. That idiot Dawood sat on my glasses in the canteen and I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> How can I help Alfie if I can't see anything? I've got a backup pair at my place. It's not far away. It's, you know, I can't get there myself. You need anything else while I'm there? Oh my god, you'll do this for me? Thank you. Oh, and um, one more thing. See, we're going to start a vegetable garden on the roof, you know, so we can maybe not starve to death. But nobody here really knows how to do it. On my birthday, I, I got a book on gardening. I never read it. It's growing vegetables for dum-dums or something like that. It should be on a bookcase, but, you know, you might have to look around for it. All right, so we got to go get Kalik's glasses. And we got to get his book. His vegetable gardening book. Let's check on Denise. Look at this guy. <laughs> What's up? You know Jafar, right? The one from the garage? He's looking for a good runner. For what? He wouldn't talk about it on the radio. I think it's something important. Hmm. Okay. And we have one more person, I think. Let's see. Blake. How original. What's up, Blake? Oh, what you need, buddy? The scouts have seen people entering the school. Something's going on there. Now, that was short and sweet. <laughs> All right. Let's head out right quick. Let's see who we're going to take care of. Um, let's go. Let's go get this dude's glasses and get his gardening book right quick. All right, let's go. So let's head over here. I have is to say, Chris? man. Can you hear me on this thing? Yeah, who is this? This is Tolga. And Fatim. We work for Mr. Dahl, and we are ready to put you to task. Get here on the double. Make it quick. Hey, that's rude. Oh, yeah, don't, don't talk to him like that. Shoot him, Fatim. Get off the radio. <laughs> Man, you idiot! Stop talking or I will punch you! Punch me? I'll kill you! Idiosyncratic, great. Those two dumbasses sound like dumber and dumber. <clears throat> Arguing back and forth. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. Oh, yeah, and get this dude's glass <clears throat> get this dude's glasses right quick. And then um and then I guess we might go check on the Toga brothers, the Dumb and Dumber, and uh, see what those guys need. I have to say though, I was I was about to, oh, so I passed it. Before those two dummies started talking, I uh, I really enjoyed Dying Light, man. It, like it's a, the game is amazing, and I was really pleased with the story. I'm just pleased with the whole game overall, like the parkour, the zombie killing, the weapon crafting, everything. Like it's, I mean, the game is on point. I really We're don't. We're waiting for you. Yes, hurry up. You're putting us behind schedule. Well, y'all gonna keep waiting. I got other shit I'm doing. <laughs> Come over there and kick both of y'all in y'all's fucking teeth. All right, let me get try to get find my way in this building. Oh, that shit is locked. Maybe this is it right here. Nope, I don't see the handle on that door. Just up here, I didn't see anything. Maybe I missed something. 
here we go. This, maybe this is it. Yeah, there we go. See what this guy's glasses might be. Oh, goody, goody, two goody, goody gumdrops. I needed some alcohol. <laughs> Make me some med kits. Make some, uh, and plus, I can use that to make that, that correct machete because I've used up my other one. I hate they didn't put it, give you the option to repair that thing because it's a beast. Oh, got some halva. I didn't need it, but hey, I ate it anyways. Where are these guys' glasses? On a bookcase, he said. Okay. Hey, at least Crane remembered they were on a bookcase. I didn't. I look. I forgot already. Falafel diet. Big book of death metal. <laughs> DVD player user manual. Simple tricks to get the chicks. <laughs> Simple tricks to get the chicks. Your boy craving the buns over here. Wait, dream the first romance novel for plumbers. Good God. This dude got a crazy selection of books. He defeat a couch potatoes guy to big butt bonanza. Nice. <laughs> big butt bonanza. <laughs> Your boy craving the Brazilian butts. He say he likes ass. He's an ass man. Do it yourself a horse head mask very 2013. Have a look good over 40. Oh, look at that statue. I almost missed it. Oh, shit, I didn't see anything in here, so let me go in here. I'm missing something. Is this it? Thousand one banana recipes. Hell no. What the hell is this guy's book at? Shit, it's gonna be damn dark before I can damn find this bitch. said the big butt bonanza ha. what kind of hard back is that <laughs> that was that was like a a hard back playboy magazine damn where is this book I know it's got to be in there somewhere
came from right here. Goodness. This dude got me looking for something that ain't even here. I got his glasses. Oh, so I guess I got the book already. Alright, so let's take everything back to old boy. Get off me, bitch! Get off me! In them. I do like killing these zombies though. Ooh, I can never get enough of it. Oh. <laughs> Elbow to the back of the head. I had to wipe him out. I had to do it. I had to let him know who was in charge. My name is Crane, and I'm the, the boss of Haran. You already know. <clears throat> All right, so let's get it back here and bring this dude his stuff right quick. Hey, you've got my glasses and the book? Ah, that's great. Good Lord, my glasses are filthy. What have you been doing with them? No, 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 never mind. It, it doesn't matter. Here, let me give you something for your trouble. Ha! You talking about what I've been doing with his glasses? You the one with the big butt bonanza book over there, buddy. <laughs> I ain't been doing nothing with them glasses. You might want to clean them things up. All right, everybody, I'm going to wrap this up right here. When I come back, we'll be doing some more side missions. I appreciate you all, all you guys' support. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for supporting my channel. Thanks for supporting this series. And when I come back, we'll be doing some more side missions on Dying Light. Please don't forget to smash that like button, and I will catch you guys next time. Be easy.